Hey, it's Allison. I am the singular blonde, if you're following, and I have left Philadelphia, left New York City. I packed everything in my entire life into a storage unit, and I came out here to California to NASA Ames Research Center to study at Singular University for 10 weeks. Today, what I want to talk to you about is not if you're going to change the world, but how you're going to do it. You are inheriting a world filled with a kind of peril that my generation never faced. The good news is you're going to have tools that we never had. You will have the tools and you will learn the skills this summer to take on the hardest challenges in the world. If you ask people, are they working on something that could really change the world? Uh, how many people can answer yes? It's amazing uh, what, what all has happened here. Uh, certainly exceeded all of my expectations for what would happen. You know, you look for people who are really trying to make things a lot better, not just a little better, but a lot better. I'm really excited for all of, all of you who are, who are studying this. If I, if I was a student, this is where I would want to be. Why are we here? Clearly, there are incredible universities throughout the world. And it's not to duplicate the efforts. It is to provide something distinctly different, to have a conversation occur that doesn't happen at other places. One student that we have this year was named Fast Company's Most Influential Women of 2010. One student has published eight papers in neural computation and neural prosthesis. One student is a founding member and program director of two NGOs. The youngest one started coding at the age of four. 60 to 70 percent of the students have started companies. It's time to dedicate your lives to solving one of the world's biggest challenges. And if you're not doing that, it's time to reorient yourself towards that goal. Take this admonition to affect one billion people and you add to it to affect one billion people positively and to answer the grand challenges of our times. I got here at Singularity University on Saturday and I met a whole bunch of amazing people already. Our day started with getting to know our roommates and kind of, you know, the normal stuff. I have an awesome roommate, her name's Mercy, she's from Kenya, however, she's studying in Italy, and so she speaks like four languages, and it's amazing. So that's just one person out of many people I've met here, and they're all incredible. So I can't wait to share them with you. So the first thing that we did was, we got to know each other, we did a little bit of an icebreaker, we did this crazy dance, you like flap on your legs and jump up to the sky. One of the people I've been talking to is Dan Barry. You know, funny thing about it, hold on, I'm really short. So let's let's kind of show where he is. He's up to here. Hi. Dan is an astronaut. Yep. I know, they kind of just look like everybody else. It's kind of cool. <laughs> oh, I think they're so much handsome. <laughs> well, I just meant, like, you don't have the big... <laughs> I'm not wearing my helmet right now. That's you know, a common the, complaint yeah, when, I, when 75 I go places. So where's your helmet? You I can't know. possibly be an astronaut. Know. Yeah, I get that a lot. Yeah. Well, there's some proof. It's in there. Oh, yeah, indeed. Yeah. We also got something really interesting. I already received some sort of funky technology. It's called 23andMe. And you basically spit into a tube <laughs> and you send it off and they they calculate and like understand how your genes are, I guess. So I'm going to figure out what that's all about and tell you more about it. Okay, so there's a group of uh, Singularity students here. Can everybody say hi? Hello. Hello. Hi. And we have these crazy looking tubes brought to us by... 23andMe. 23andMe. And what we're going to do is we're going to spit in them <laughs> all the way up to here. I don't know how that's going to happen. And anyway, and then we're going to close the cap and we're going to send it off to 23andMe. And when it gets back, it's going to tell us all about what's in our genes. Like if we're... Like diabetes or like whatever. I don't know what's going to happen. We actually don't know. It's going to take probably six weeks before we get the results. But we're going to have a spit contest. So uh, watch.
So this to this is my spittle. This is my spittle. Mixed. Oh wait, yours is green. <laughs> <laughs> You're an alien. Why? Why is mine a different color? Why is mine not? Wait, everybody. Oh, there's something wrong. There's just going to be a lot of stuff going on. I'm going to make sure to keep you up with it. So stay tuned to Stingular Blonde this summer.